as an international student who intend to study in Georgia, there are various things you need to put into consideration and also understand that notarization and checking are also involved. But I am going to break all the details down for you. So if you need information like this, stay connected and keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the platform and thank you so much for joining. If you are new, welcome. If you are old, welcome. Please guys, like this video for me and make sure you subscribe below, alright? So that when I put the next video, you will be the first person to watch, alright? Thank you so much for understanding. So I want to talk about how you are going to study in Georgia, how you can apply to Georgian universities and an example of a university in Georgia you can consider. Now, Georgia is one of those countries in Europe, all right, which is very easy to immigrate to, but the visa process looks somehow a little tedious. But that is not all hopes gone. You still have a chance with me. You still have a chance because I'm going to tell you what to do. But remember that most of our African countries don't have the Georgian embassy, all right? So you have to either go to Ethiopia, you either go to Egypt, all right? Some nationalities will go to Egypt, while others will go to Ethiopia. Because I think during the COVID-19 outbreak, a lot of people could apply online, all right? So you have to first of all check if you can apply online or you need to go to the embassy. That is something you should check, all right? Now, moving further into the video, if you want to study in Georgia in 2023, this is the time for you to start doing your investigation on which institution you are going to take part in, all right? I want to tell you that there are a lot of schools in Georgia. Not that like a lot, but know that Georgia is a country of 5 million people or more, all right? So you should start checking. There are not more universities in Georgia, all right, compared to other countries. But again, medical universities are now, now. if you want to study for example, a medical field or a medical degree in Georgia, as a student coming from high school, you need just your basic high school documents, which are your YX certificate if you are a Nigerian, your WESE or whichsoever certificate you got from high school. If you are a Ghanaian, Liberian, same thing, South African, same thing, Cameroonians, you need O levels and advanced level certificate. Those who are also writing the GC also need O and advanced certificate in Africa. Or those in Asia, you still need your high school certificate. Now, that is the first document you need. The other document you need if you want to study in Georgia is your birth certificate. Yeah, your birth certificate is typically the document that uh, you were given birth to and your age and your father's name, your mother's name on it. I hope we all understand what the birth certificate is. Now, the other document you need is a copy of your data page of your passport, all right? Because when you start writing the university, they are going to request for all these three sets of documents. There are basically three of them, all right? So you need to submit to the admissions team or to the school. Now, all you need to do is to contact the school when you gather all these documents or you need to write the school if you doubt anything. Remember, this is just information I'm sharing for educational purpose. So I will recommend you do your own research as well because the procedure may be different or may be the same for each institution in Georgia. However, now when you have gathered the documents, you need to contact the university. The university is going to send you an application form to fill in case the process is the same for all universities. I am talking for one because I know one person in there. I'm not going to talk about so many things here. I will not put everything. It's not everything I will say on social media. All right. I hope you guys understand. So the application form, you will fill it. You fill the application very well. You send it back to them. All right. And after two weeks, you are going to get feedback from the university, probably maybe three weeks maximum. And an acceptance letter will be given to you in case you have been accepted into the program. That is the first step you need to take if you want to study in Georgia. I hope we all get the information. Now, the next step you need to start again is to pay a $150 or between $150 to like $250 if you want the admissions processes to be fast. And this money is used to process your admissions. It is called admissions processing fee. Now, it may increase within time, but like I said, you have to check within your own university to verify. This money is used to notarize your documents, all right, because your documents are in English. Remember, Georgia is Georgian, and they don't speak English. Some people, or let me say a majority of them, or maybe some part of the country speak Russian, so they will need to translate your documents to their own language to understand it better, all right? So their money is used for notarization, and translation now notarization is done at the level of the ministry all right so they will pay the ministry 
in their home country to check their documents and approve your admissions. I hope you get the point. Then they would translate the order. Set. Now, you equally need to pay your tuition fee in case your admissions have been approved and you have been admitted. All right, the document or the letter will be sent to you. Then you pay your tuition fee from there. Remember, your tuition fee has to be on standby because the process may not take that long. But equally, you shouldn't be the one to waste the time because visa processing. Remember, you have to move to other countries to apply for visa, which I'm still coming oh. to that. When you pay your tuition fee immediately, all right, and the results from the ministry is out because the results from the ministry, remember they send some information from the ministry. The ministry needs to approve your admissions because that document from the ministry, the approval of your admissions, you need it to apply for your visa to Georgia. Now, they need that document. As soon as the document is out and uh, you have paid your tuition fee, got confirmation, and the other document from the ministry, like I said, is out, then you are good to go for your visa application. Now, remember... For tuition fee in Georgian universities, the tuition fee varies, but expect something between 4,000 to 7,000 euros. Most medical courses like medicine and dentistry are at least 7,000 euros. That is somehow cheap compared to medicine in other countries like UK, Canada, and maybe Sweden or Turkey as well. Now, when you are going for the visa interview, before you even go for it, understand that you are going to be applying for your visa in Ethiopia, if you are a Nigerian, if you are Cameroonian, if you are Ghanaian and other nationalities, all right, people from North Africa will go to Egypt, all right, because the embassy is not found in every country in Africa. Like I said, you have to go to these places. However, when COVID-19 came around, um, the visa application was online. So I would say if you are applying to study in Georgia now, or if you intend to study in Georgia very soon, you should try to contact um, the embassies or find out from your university if you can apply for your visa via the embassy, if you need to go to the embassy face to face or you are going to apply online, like I said, contact the embassy or you contact your university for assistance for that or you check the details to know if you can because like I said, I cannot put everything on social media. So check all of these details to know, please, so that you know what is happening. Again, before I think early this month, early this year, um, not early, a few months back, um, there were no appointments at the level of the Georgian Embassy for international students and from what I learned a lot of agents were using the advantage selling appointments so the embassy noticed that and closed the appointment but if you are a student I would say send an information to your universe um, to the embassy all right to tell them you don't have appointments and again they may ask you to contact your school for your school to contact them on your behalf in that case you can get an appointment that is just the trick I'm giving you all right so utilize this very well. Take attention and use it very fast. Don't even waste time. Now, if you want to go for your visa interview, understand you have to pay for visa fee, which is something that I don't know how much it's going to cost. The fee may vary from time to time. All right. So pay attention to this. It is very important. Also, understand that as soon as you get your visa, you have to be moving to Georgia. So you have to also make sure you gather all your documents that you are using at the visa application center or at the embassy. In Ethiopia in case you go I'm not talking based on those who are going to be applying from Cameroon or Nigeria or any other place or Ghana all right somebody was asking me if you want to apply for a visa to move to Lithuania you have to go face to face at the embassy of course sometimes it is done at the VFS office but again like I said things do change so you have to go there is somebody who recently got the visa to Lithuania she went to the embassy everything was done at the level of the VFS but the embassy is going to call you However, there was a video I did about Estonia where I said VFS, um, let me say the embassy doesn't accept documents coming from VFS anymore. So if you want to study in Estonia, you have to go to the embassy yourself. There are a lot of changes taking place. So when you get information from me, always try to find out if um, the information is same because all my things may not be same. I will be 75% correct, all right, as a disclaimer, but... I may not be all correct, but just few you need to check again because I can't do all the work myself. I'm just here to guide all of us. So if you want to move to Georgia, know that there are a lot of universities in Georgia. Not like there are a lot of universities in Georgia, but there are some universities in Georgia. You will, I will film videos about them very soon. Remember I said tuition fee varies and uh, programs, I think the cheapest program I've seen so far is 4000 But some programs in some universities will give you a scholarship and in this case you can pay 3000 500 or even 3,300 based on the scholarship given. Remember, there are some universities in Georgia that will equally 
give you an opportunity to pay per semester, all right, like instrumental payment, all right, and uh, I think there is one university, New Vision University does that. You can apply, and if your tuition is 4,000 per year, you can pay in two installment, or you ask for more instrumental payment, they can give you that. All right, so that is something you should know. Georgia is a country of at least 5 million people, like I said before. And now the advantage for you is that when you finish studying, you can equally work in Georgia. All right, it is very common. You can work in Georgia and you earn a living from there. All right, but don't expect to get a bigger salary compared to other European countries. I think the salary range per hour in Georgia is going to be between two to five dollars, depending on the type of job you are doing. All right, per hour. So it's very pretty low, but it's somehow worthy if you want to calculate it very well. Though I am not very sure of how the minimum wage is now, the minimum wage is, but you should check all of this because it is also going to be very important to you. Oh, I forget, oh. there is something, someone was telling me, it is possible, you cannot do um, their documents, except your documents have been approved by the Ministry of um, Education in Georgia. So you must pay the application fee. I think it's usually between, between 1,000 and, um, sorry, 150 to 250. So it all depends on how much your own university is going to charge you for the admission. So you need to verify this information, then you do the right thing, all right? Remember, all you need to do is to go to the university site, all right? Some schools will ask you to apply online and send your documents to them via email, like I already explained. Why others will tell you to apply online and they will contact you and put all your details, they will contact you. So when you use your, uh, your email to apply, make sure you stay connected to the email because these are uh, things that you will need. All right in order to 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 process your your stuff further remember you have to make preparation and plan your budget very well because as soon as you get admissions you have to pay tuition fee you have to move to a new country to apply for the visa in case you are moving in case the visa is not online and these things need a lot of adjustment a lot of time and checking all right so you need to put this into consideration to know so that at the end of the day you don't get stranded and maybe rushing over things which are not necessary i hope this video will help you i am called milton phone for the anointed village boy until we meet again please do not go subscribe to our channel and support the movement thank you so much until we meet again in another one